Hello, welcome to this time a very short stream. I will implement something that I need to put for my binary search lecture. And binary search is a thing that I'm doing for like three streams now already. I think this will be the last one about binary, binary search. Mm. I already recorded a video. A half an hour lecture about binary search. I am very proud uh, of it. And today, I think shortly after this stream, it will be out. I hope you will like it. Mm, it will be on the main channel, Ericto. YouTube.com slash Ericto. Mm, we are on Twitch too. I need to change the description. Today is what in our research again bps number what 13 what do we have hello dicky novanto 13 uh, ready and description is novanto 13 mm, add it i don't have much time today because uh, there are programming workshops in Warsaw from Friday to Sunday. I'm one of organizers. I didn't even know whether I could stream today, but I have an hour or two. Mm. I don't even have time, sadly, to participate in Code Forces, though I would want to because, of course, I'm now below Nutella and I just wait for the next opportunity to fight for mm, for being up again. My last few contests are like up, down, up, down. I became Nutella already three times in Code Forces. Mm. And the goal today is to rewrite some of the binary search problems, especially here in lead code, to uh, different implementation because the last time I did them with that method where you need to ask about the middle element the left of them if there are ties but I changed my mind and I think that the better method is to create a new variable and I will rewrite some of the solutions to put them in the github repository hello uh, David, Nikashet, Mavbadis, Sanjay, Abudia. Will you explain parallel binary search also? No, it has almost nothing to do with binary search and it's much, much more complicated. What does it mean to be Nutella? <laughs> nothing? <laughs> I don't know. What does it mean that you have like 2000 rating? Mm. Hello, Ahmed. There were here some problems. Template one, square root. Okay. Uh, I will implement this, maybe also in Python. Become legendary grandmaster is Nutella. Oh, so the question was not philosophical, just what is Nutella? The Nutella is legendary grandmaster status in Code Forces. That is like Grandmaster in chess or international Grandmaster chess titles. So Nutella is the highest title, like Grandmaster, I think. I didn't know about it, no worries. You can read my FAQ. Uh, on wiki of github link will you will find in the description there are a lot of things explained there mm -hmm. S problem square root of x compute and return the square root of x where x is guaranteed to be a non-negative integer i have some code but i want to change it mm. and Previously I had here an issue with overflow and that's partially why I 
decided to switch to another imp implementation. Mm. Now, we're always from left to right. Me, uh, ans is minus one. Return ans at the end. Mm, we're left smaller equal right. Mid is that. No, if. If property as is equal mid, and then what? Right is equal mid minus one. If we are looking for the first leftmost element, else that return as I and I will keep using this mm, this problem. Let's copy that. Left right is x, as is that. Property is mid times mid, casted too long ago. Then ans is mid, and to look for something even bigger. In this case, we swap the two conditions. for the last element satis satisfying the condition run code um, please explain how you use dp to solve that stock span to problem of did code please please can you give me a link can you make educational series for beginners on sub topics like graph dp binary search including problems to solve and code forces. Mm, well, the binary search lecture is coming and after that I will hear some feedback about it and I want to mm, uh, I want to then do more lectures like those recorded high quality lectures Mm, I think it's okay to start from easy topics. Like quickly do some short video for BFS, DFS, stuff like that maybe. I will also try with something harder. Find the last number A dot. dot uh, by the way, I can show you a sneak peek. Mm, I need to change account one moment. sneak peek of that lecture that is coming by research lecture it's 28 minutes and for the first time I tried recording with mm, with black background I think you do you should barely hear the audio here but well, you will see it in two hours or so it's already with captions. And I talked about quite a few problems, not only just finding the target value. Now I want to implement some of those. Mm, that will be published in likely an hour, just after the stream. You're programming since 13, but were you sincerely participating in competitive programming since then? I just want to know how you became LGM. Let me add that to wiki. Mm. Where it started? Uh, when I wrote my first code? 
Well, it's written here. I'm I was 15 when I started doing competitive programming. Mm. Sincerely is participating in CP. I think that answers your question. Mm. You're some teacher learned a lot from you. Thanks, good to hear. I can access link because it is in premium section. You solved that question in previous stream. It is an interview preparation. Arise second question, I guess. Mm. But why do you ask me how I used that problem if I can't access it too? You say it's in premium section. I, I don't have premium. Mm. Find the last number n dot m times m is more equal x. Okay. Let's also rewrite that to Python. Uh, maybe if I copy that, modify something here, blah blah blah, then is it saved? It is. Let's try here. Mm. L is zero. L R is zero x. While L smaller equal R also ans is minus one. Mm. Shouldn't be returned. Uh, is minus one shouldn't be returned because we will find some m that such m that no, m such that m square is more equal x mm, for example 0 is fine while that mid is L plus R minus L over 2 if mid times mid is ok ans is mid mm, R is mid minus 1 no, L look for for mm, the last rightmost element satisfying the condition else r is mid minus one return ans find the last m such that m times m is smaller or equal x submit uh, is this site a paid site? I'm using this just a free version of lead code. Mm. There are some paid problems or articles. I got the link. Mm. I will open that in a moment. What about graph game with Radeusz? Uh, this is in plans, but Mm, that g graph wars or whatever that was called the game uh, I don't know when that will happen right now I'm very busy with preparing those workshops for the weekend how many hours questions per day were you solving to get such a great grip on these topics I'm 18 and want to know about it uh, I don't know 15 hours a week I just, want, uh, just wanted to thank you for doing these streams and posting videos on YouTube, learned a lot. Request to, uh, to make tutorial videos on sports, uh, more tutorial videos on what sports programming topics. I, I'm experimenting with recorded lectures. Mm. Regarding question about best time to buy and sell stock too, 
this is DP from left to right, from where at some position it's important whether you hold a piece of product or you don't. In both cases, you want to know what is the maximum possible profit so far, where if you buy a, a product, then your profit decreases by the price of that product. And that's it. Mm. Accepted. Cool. Mm. We have um, C++ and Python implementations. Guess number higher or lower. Let's copy this. Guess number from left to right. Well, that assert false shouldn't get here. Mm. Mid is that of x is yes of mid. Let's remember this value not to repeat the query in ifs in ifs below if x is equal to zero return mid if x greater than zero if equal one if one my number is higher then left is mid plus one, else right is mid minus one. Run code. All the best for your workshops. Are you nervous? Not really. Mm. If I was nervous about teaching, then I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. I feel quite comfortable and confident teaching algorithms. Okay, that was for C++, then let's do the same in Python. Left is 1, right is n. While left smaller equal right, mid is left plus right minus left over 2. Did I also use that in the previous problem? Python. Yes, I did. Mm. X is guess of mid. I will copy the comment from C++ version. Oh, this is Python or Python 3? If x is 0, return mid. If x is 1, if x is 1, then my number is higher. Look for a higher number. Else, right is mid minus 1. Assert false. Is there something like that in Python? Assert false. Shouldn't get here because it's guaranteed the mm, mm, the target value is in the array. I will say the same thing for C version. Submit, accepted. In C++, I want to paste the same. After I solve a few of those problems with the new method, where I'm always asking about the 
Like, I have that extra variable, unless the problem is easier like this one, where we were just looking for the value. Then I will put that in GitHub repository, and in the YouTube video I will link that. Search in rotated sorted array. Are you going to participate today? I'm not. Uh, because I don't have time, unfortunately. I would like, like to ask, uh, please, to solve this problem in your stream also. Uh, I don't have time today, so I will, I will not. If this is some random contest, then ask authors, ask organizers. You have an author here, I don't know, write to him maybe. Ask in Code Forum or Code Forces Forum. Hello Shroud! Welcome back to the stream. Now today he has committed himself to workshops. Exactly. Mm. It's just a short stream where I want to do something for the binary search lecture, publish it, then I'm going to to school for workshops. Here, uh, you're given target value to search. If found in the array, return its index, otherwise, return minus one. Uh, we could either first find the rotation, the position of the smallest element, or Um, run one binary search if more complicated check condition if condition mm, to look for the number what is the better value I w uh, what is the better option I wonder what workshops uh, for high school? Something like preparation for IOI. There will be around 10 people on for that workshops and a few organizers, including myself, Kostka, Radeusz. Mm. What do I have? I see some code at the bottom. Uh, ans, ans is minus one. Turned if there is no answer. Well, that meet. No, just we're looking for the target value. Mm. So we need to store the answer, just to return it. If that or that or that, that's quite complicated. Let's submit to see if it works. Accepted. Uh, but it's quite complicated. number we can check if we should go go to the left right by comparing it with target and with a of zero also comparing target with a of zero tells us whether mm, target is tells us in which part big or small numbers the target should be
True, 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 false, false, false. Mm. I'm here doing the or run one binary search with more complicated if conditions to look for the number. This is what my code does. You should try yourself the first approach. It should have it should have mm, by, by find the rotation or there are two options one first find the rotation the position of the smallest element then mm, find find the target value in one of the parts this approach requires one binary search and then another different binary search two run one binary search with more complicated if conditions to look for them this is what my code does you should yourself try the first approach okay submit python I'll just copy stuff N is uh, what do we have? Nums size or land of nums? What is it in Python? I think land of nums. Then uh, left, right is zero and minus one. While left smaller equal right. Mid is that. If A of mid is equal target, return mid. Then if that big complicated condition do that, else the opposite. Submit. Line fourteen is wrong. Why? Or right? Or can we use and? Which thing? Let's see. Or false. Uh, or false. Is this allowed? Uh, line nope. So we need and. Or what did they have here? I removed something. Or or what happened? Wow! I think it's bugged. I can modify two things at the same time. Like cursor is in two places. It never happened to me before. That is so cool. I can. I can implement twice faster. That's awesome. I don't want to hit enter because that would maybe mess up everything. But I can implement, let's say, int main, int ab, scan ab. That's so cool. Uh, I don't know, for loop. 
in cd read cd address of c push back d my eyes are hurting by looking at that uh, let's get back with that can i do that here no i think it's fixed now mm, no. or and and submit still invalid syntax what do they want from me i don't think i don't see what is wrong oh like one moment so this wasn't an issue It's the reason I'll go to move two courses at a time, but as programmer, yeah. This is how I'm winning programming competitions. I'm just implementing twice faster. What? So, it had to be in one line, that's it? Oh, huh. strange. Mm, no, A is not defined. Yeah, because it's A. Accepted. Cool. Template two. Bad version. Find the first bad version. Uh, well, left smaller equal right. Here, create ans is minus one. Returned if there is no bad version impossible in this problem though that if is bad version then ans is meet and look for the first bad version so better one will be on the left maybe there is even earlier bad version on the left otherwise that return ans Python free. Left, right is one and ans is minus one. Well, that need. If is bad version, do that and else left is equal mid plus one. Find minimum in rotated sorted array. We need to find that and I talked about this problem during the uh, in the video in the lecture smaller equal mm -hmm. Well, left small equal uh, r right. Uh, if value is smaller equal than the last element, ans is a of mid. Look for something even smaller to the left. Right is mid minus one. 
look for something even smaller to, on the left otherwise that n is len of a left right is zero maybe just say len of a minus one else is minus one mm, won't be returned anyway value won't be returned anyway because there are some elements satisfying the condition smaller equal than the last element I will put the same in C++ version then what? well that I think that would be enough. Uh, not this channel. The first one. I will put that either the, some links either in the description or in f the pinned comment maybe I think description is better I just need to copy something from one of the previous videos mm. what time I think something starts in two hours from now hello Nicola 99% of people here are Indian programmers yeah I think it's more than 50 percent not sure about that uh, is monaher algorithm important to learn is it only used for finding longest palindrome or the number of palindromes in all of and yes monaher is for palindromes is it important i think slightly less important than uh, kmp or z algorithm but yes it is important for palindromes Shroud, he's an organizing member, yep, uh, he must be from Croatia, hello Anu Anubav, Nikola so sounds like Serbia, I think it's <laughs> the most Serbian name, because of Tesla, uh, so happy you will be doing more lectures, uh, that will be like a boon to me, boon? Uh, has written an algo to move to cursors at the time, yeah. Uh, one too many closing brackets, never mind. Uh, I think we are past that problem now. What I wanted to do, copy the description from one, do one of other videos. Edit video. Mm. Copy that. Hmm. For thumbnail, I wanted the thing from the first seconds, and it's not here. Mm. Binary search lecture, what description I should use? Uh, comprehensive, is that a word? Comprehensive. Yes most comprehensive lecture on binary search you can find on the binary search you can find. Mm. find learn to 
this is the fur the most comprehensive lecture on the binary search you can find uh, find the target value or the first value satisfying some condition or approximate is that a verb mm. yes approximate made squared of x up to some procedure watch this lecture if you mm, you practice for competitive programming or for coding interviews Mm, the most comprehensive lecture on the binary search. The most comprehensive lecture is that. Find the target value or the first value satisfying some condition or approximate square root of x up to some precision. What this lecture if you practice for competitive programming or for coding interviews? Mm. Suggestions. Suggestions for future lectures are more than welcome. Mm. Uh, for su suggestions about the format of a lecture or about topics for future lectures. Please tell me. Please give me suggestions about the format of lecture or about the topics for future lectures. Let's go with that for now. Uh, Boon means highly helpful. I didn't know that. Platform says round is very early today. Yes, because it's by someone from China, right? This is why they wanted it earlier. I wish it was on Saturday or Sunday, though. Then uh, more people could participate. Right now, Europe is in school or work, usually. And they cannot. Uh, don't write, you can find. It seems cocky. Yeah, I already removed that. Just write most comprehensive lecture. Mm. I changed that already. Do you guys do share this binary search video as this is coming right from the Nutella ranker himself? Well, I'm not Nutella now. But I think this is the most comprehensive lecture you can find. Others are just 5-10 minutes about finding the target value. This is much harder. This is the most comprehensive lecture on the binary search. Find the target value. Uh, watch this lecture. If you blah blah blah. Now, how what we all do with suggestions? I want to put a ban. I want to put a bunch of links. Uh, to different problems. First bad version. Square root of x that should I do it here mm. this I can close right this I can I can copy the tags got forces algorithm top coder let's remove that or maybe not oh uh, first of all it's binary search then I will copy everything else Code forces, algorithm, top coder, hacker, and competitive programming. Uh, 
Parse I can remove. Python is also there. I don't know, coding interviews. Need code. Now, do I put links here or in the comment? There will be a bunch of links. And they are quite long. I think I will put that in a comment. I already shared this his channel with my friends the day I found it myself. Cool. Thank you. Great. Let's save it as it is. But I need to I want to change the thumbnail. To to this one. We have big binary search written. Can I make a print screen? Will everything disappear? I want the borders to disappear now. Mm. What can I do? I can open it. Uh, I, op I can open a file on my computer. Documents binder research is one of the most important. Okay, I can in the world. It allows us to quickly find a number, some target value, in a sorted array of numbers. Binder research is one. Okay, maybe now the borders will disappear. Please. <laughs> Still at the bottom we see something. <laughs> I want that to disappear. Full screen. Will it disappear now, please? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Do you have any ideas? What I should do to take the screenshot or screenshot of the first frame. I have video here on YouTube and I have it on my computer, but I don't want the borders. I'm participating from last four months, only able to solve two questions. I code faster. Stop participating for some time and learn new concepts. You don't have to stop participating to learn new concepts. But yes, you should learn new things. Read editorials, read tutorials. Can't share with my friends as I don't have some who are interested in this stuff. Then you must get friends, teach them programming and then show them my channel. Open it in Microsoft Paint and crop it. I don't want to decrease the quality. Plus. Uh, I want that to be easier for the future. Try Apache Screen Recorder. What is it? Mm, I think I'm happy with OBS. Or you mean that I can install that to get the first frame? Maybe I should open the file in a different thing. Open with Movies and TV, Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player. Mm. 
please disappear yes I think we are happy now cool mm, then I need to wait for a moment then print screen and I have my frame I just need to remember to open it with what is it window what is the name of the program I think Windows Movie Maker or not but now it doesn't want to disappear one two three four five go away please let's try again mm. I've just hit print screen and at that moment it shows the bottom part but maybe screenshot is done let's try it is it copied to my uh, how is it called when you copy something where is it in your something board uh, paint paint oh i have i have quite a big screenshot i can show that uh, because it has two screens doesn't a control print screen does a print screen for only one of the screens mm. Mm -hmm. Why is the height different than 1080? That was the initial thing. Strange. The height is smaller than 1080? I see here a white stripe. It's not a very big deal, but why is it so? Is my screen not full 1080? It looks like screenshot left the top 15 pixels white. Or maybe not. I guess I messed something up. Okay, now I can first expand then move this here closer One more pixel. Perfection. Is it 1080? Yes. Once again, OCD in the world is cured. I can save that. Mm. Good morning, Erichter. Will you upload this video on YouTube later? Yes, I plan that just after the stream. Uh, I have. I have directory thumbnails, I think. Where is it? Mm. Binary search lecture. Mm. 
now custom thumbnail pop 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 mm. by nurse search lecture safe if I now click here no I won't see it uh, but now thumbnail looks like that and I think it's better maybe it should be more colorful algorithms life uses I think green font for example Yes, he uses green font, which is characteristic. Uh, but I think I'm fine with white. Mm. See the pinned comment for links and codes. Mm. How does the description look like? This is the most comprehensive lecture on the binary search. Uh, find the target value or the first value satisfying some condition or approximate square root of x up to some precision. Watch this lecture. If you practice for competitive programming or for coding interviews, see the pinned comment for links and my implementation. Give me suggestions about the format. Mm, cool. Then add a public comment. I need to. Mm, what should I do in what order? I can first put everything in GitHub repo. first bad version the easiest problem here was about guessing a number minus one one and zero recommend solving isn't it isn't possible to subscribe I would like to contribute thanks Oh, in uh, Twitch? I'm not a partner, so uh, you cannot subscribe to me on Twitch, but you can just watch my videos and stuff, also subscribe to YouTube, that would help. Of course, it is free then, uh, but the thing with being partner at Twitch is that then I f I'm forbidden to stream at the same time to YouTube what would be bad for me if they allowed me to be a partner on twitch and stream on youtube at the same time then i would be fine with that and i would take the the partnership i would earn some small amount of money thanks to that mm. but i'm also fine without it i recommend solving problems from it code no research lesson how is it called chapter recommend solving it code binary search problems code problems uh, for binary search problems on lead code don't read their templates though they aren't uh, they aren't perfect. Uh, 
this number higher or lower too many tabs I need to close some you can close this here I'm writing a comment close that that as well two two and I will just write a comment perfect start with easy problems this is one of them then square root of x first bad version that and find minimum in rotated array and find codes to some of those problems my C++ and Python codes some problems my github repo in vector binary search directory I don't want to give a link not, not wiki to github I'm quite worried about giving a link to exact mm, thing in github because I will likely redo it soon I'll think about that first let me push from my laptop I'm pushing to git mm, lectures binary search oh I thought that I'm creating that's odd what if I create another directory I thought that I'm creating directory lectures and inside there is directory binary search. I will add one more directory to see what happens because I guess that just git compresses something if there is only one directory inside another directory. Uh, how are you getting Hindi videos in your recommendation? Uh, are they Hindi videos? Maybe they had English captions. YouTube is very... Mm, I don't watch anything on that Eric Tattoo channel. If only I open something on YouTube, for example during a stream, because somebody tol told me about that channel or video, then YouTube will keep recommending uh, that to me. Okay, I have now a directory lectures and inside there is binary search and fake lecture. Uh, I will put a link here. Some problems aren't same with what I talked about, about during a lecture for example uh, find pick element init code is harder because the function doesn't can have multiple 
picks. For example, find me seems at least seems harder or looks harder seems harder because the function can have multiple picks. You can find C plus plus that. Aren't the same? Aren't the same? I think that's why. How does this look like? I recommend solving binary search problems on lead code. Don't read their templates though, they aren't perfect. Start with easy problems. That, this, and that. You can find C and Python codes to some problems in my GitHub repo. Note that some problems aren't the same with what I talked about during a lecture. For example, find pick elements in lead code seems harder because the function can have multiple picks. Mm. One more thing is huge thanks to Reddy for making uh, captions. And the captions are just very good. Uh, the, the quality after somebody submits captions i quickly review them and here i didn't have to change almost anything i hope he i hope he will make more captions for my videos mm. one video on this question please uh, how are you getting that you should collab with some big channels when you got time in order to gain more subs uh, but it's about you know, talking with them and convincing that it's worth it. I would subscribe to Twitch too. Maybe you could stream on Twitch and upload the stream to YouTube after. Mm. Yes, that's possible. Mm. <laughs> I think the main fun from watching a stream is when you watch it live. So it's a bit unfair to people that just don't use Twitch. Also here we are talking about the fact that one platform might be not usable in some countries. I'm not sure if that's the case. But I guess there are some countries where YouTube works and Twitch doesn't. Mm, this is why for now I stream to both. And I'm really fine without that extra money. So you can just watch me share with your friends if you want to somehow help the channel uh, I don't know how to make captions well, you can google that mm. if you are in competitive programming discord you can write to me if you want to make captions to one of the videos I pay some small amount for that like six dollars for ten minutes video uh, if you know some big channels that you that would want to collab with me, then do let me know. I'm open to that. Mm, okay, here I will put the codes. How to do it? Can I do it here? Like create new file? Yes, I can do it. Because on laptop I'm on Linux and I can use GitHub there from terminal, which is much more convenient. But here I could just use U, uh, UI. To arrays and sum of functions. Mm, the f name link. I will use the same format. This is my old implementation of binary search that I don't recommend. This is the one I tried for in two streams ago, three streams ago create new file mm. explore first bad version no uh, first square root of x we have c++ this is what square root dot cpp I guess a 
I see a tab here but spaces there. That's a bit stupid. Four spaces here. That's just ugly. Mm. But who cares? This is what root of x link is here. But I would need a bunch of commits. Uh, can I m add multiple files in UI? No need for money for captions, uh, but I feel bad requiring something from people and not paying them. You know, I gain, I still gain something from having this YouTube channel because I have something to put in my CV or I'm more known in the community because of that. Maybe I will be invited to mm, be a teacher in some workshops, some school. Uh, stuff like that. I gain recognition thanks to that. While writing captions is more like you, you sit for half an hour and just type that stuff. This is boring, right? Then I feel much better and even those people tell me that uh, they don't need money. Reddit, uh, Reddit told me the same thing, that he can do it for free. But I insisted on paying people. I can afford it it's fine for me and I feel better with that mm. I'm sorry I'm not on Twitch <laughs> you don't have to be sorry also in Twitch it's it's not different right now you cannot subscribe to me for money in Twitch I was gonna say the same as my buddies the only thing we want from you is learning how to contact you to make captions for your videos Facebook or Discord the links are in the description mm. I don't want to use UI for everything. I think I will just do it in my laptop just after a stream. Yeah, I will do that. I don't want to trash my GitHub with 10 commits now, each one for a separate uh, for a separate problem language actually because I implemented C++ and Python for each of those problems. I will do that after the stream. Streams... Um, okay, I think I can soon finish this stream and publish the video in... I think it took... it will take me less than 15 minutes to upload everything from my laptop to GitHub but comment can be already here. Is it pinned? It should be. It's pinned. Mm, is there anything else I should do? This is boring, but you are giving more knowledge, which no one can give you better than money. Uh, yes, and this is why I, outsour I outsourced making captions, but still I feel better paying for them. even if it's just a little bit. I'm just looking at mm, cut forces to see if anything interesting is here. Find the position of an element. Let's say we have a running stream of numbers. We have to insert each element to a sorted list. Before inserting, we have to find the position of element in list. I can do that is augmenting the AVL tree policy-based data structures there is some discussion already mm. hello problem that solved by problem that but in that case k0 d is one and you count the number of continuous sub segments with a minimum number of one 
is this a question or an information that you can solve one problem using the solution for the other? I'm not sure. Video on this problem, please. Uh, if when somebody suggests suggests something, uh, it would be good to see why do you think I should make a video on that? It's from three days ago. Is there an editorial? There is, but it's not linked. What about linking the editorial? Contest materials, type tutorial, language English, name editorial, URL. and Russian oh, I think we're fine mm. uh, anyway there is an editorial or tutorial mm. which problem was it? array splitting there is something here if you want to i'm trying to make videos about something if i see a different solution than editorial or i think that i can explain something better mm, give some more insight will your next video drop i'm excited to make captions for you uh, when will it drop i don't know not during this weekend because i don't i won't have time just write to me in discord or facebook and we'll see about that uh, i worried the problem anyway you're given an array and an integer k split it into k non-empty consecutive subarrays let f of i be the index of subarray the ith element belongs to subarrays are numbered from one to k the cost of division is this Some prefix will be multiplied by 1, then by 2, by 3, and so on. n square should be easy, or n cubic, where we have dp of how far we went and what k, what is the number of intervals we used already. link please i'm trying not to help with just random questions because people sometimes ask me about questions from ongoing contests uh, i'm also worried that maybe somebody has i don't know an interview and he will just write to me uh, i don't want to help in cheating i even make a blo i made a blog about it asking for help faq on code forces where I explained that you can post on code forces and after a few days, if there is no, like, after it's there for a few days, then it's a fair game to answer that because if that was a competition, likely it already finished, so whatever. I created that problem. <laughs> uh, then why are you asking me for a solution? Of course, people create problems, but you should know a solution for your problem. Mm. If uh, I would say you created a problem when you have a solution for that, then you can use it in a contest. If you are just experimenting and thinking whether this is solvable or not, then without big experience, you're likely wasting time because a lot of things can't be done faster than something, and uh, you're not by asking how to s solve that faster than log you you also possibly waste time of people mm, that would try to help you 
when I see this question, I would guess that it is possible to do that faster than log because you asked about it. So likely this is from some problem from a competition. Mm. How to get random number from this multiset, by the way? Uh, store that in a vector and or array and have random index. Can also make captions for your BPS. I don't think you can. Really, if the video is five hours, it would take you 15 hours to make captions. You don't want to do that. It is too hard to just hear something and s type at the same time unless you are very quick, very, very fast. I need to watch my video at speed, I think, perfectly 0 0.25, four times slower to be able to type everything and without stopping the video. Or times 0 0.5, but then I have to stop it from time to time. And I type quite fast. It takes, I would say, half an hour to make captions for 10 minutes video. For five hours stream, it would last 15 hours. I don't think you want to do that. Mm. C in education around 66 has a binary search solution. I would first like to maybe get the solution for this one. Uh, calculate the maximum cost. For this array we have, do we have that example array in the in samples? We don't. But if we split like that, we have this times 1, then this times 2 and times 3. They have to be non-empty. For some divide and conquer, it's hard to do with k. We can use the alien streak or parametric optimization, parametric search to get rid of K. Mm. Yeah, that should work. Or it shouldn't because in TP we still care about that. Okay, first parametric search, then go from right to left. From some for some suffix, you know how to optimally split it. Uh, you know the sum of numbers there, that is one value. You know that optimal cost already. Then if you have longer suffix, you want to consider splitting this way plus that. Then you have score of already that suffix plus the sum. Plus the sum. So we would basically do parametric search, then go from right to left, and every time remember the best possible score so far. For if I want to compute best score for this suffix, from previous suffixes, shorter ones, I just take the one with smallest score already, and that's it. To that, I add the sum of values here. And parametric search allows me to get rid of k. It looks too hard for a solution. The attack is greedy, then I apparently can do something easier. Tutorial. Uh, suffix maximum, let pi be the position where starts the if subarray. Then we can make an interesting transformation. Oh, you just choose. When you split at some position, this adds plus suffix to the array. Then we just take k biggest suffixes. That's a cool problem. But 
I wouldn't say more something more valuable than that. Yeah, the thing is, because you split at some position, let's say here, you add plus one to multipliers of all numbers in the suffix. Because of that, you add to the score the suffix sum, like that. And you just need to take best suffix sums. That's cool. I My solution was an overkill. Check my channel, it also has captions. I can do anything to help you. I'm free right now. Uh, what do you do on on YouTube? Integral of cosines. You don't have captions. I actually should refresh my knowledge of integrals, but oh, you have captions here. Okay, cool. Mm. For seven hour video, it may take two days, but it will be completed for sure. Also uh, helps me increasing my typing speed. We're talking about something very boring, man. I really don't understand why you would do that. It isn't necessary. How do you manage to keep fit and healthy with all that coding and streaming for hours and hours? Do you counterbalance that with all night long disco ball dancing or something? Mm. People work for eight hours a day. I don't stream and code for more than that. I sh still should remember during my streams to stretch more often and to like every hour perfectly stand up and uh, do a five minute break. I forget about it. This stream it isn't important. I won't stream for more than two hours. I will very soon finish. But for those six, seven hour streams, uh, you really need to remember about breaks just because it's healthy. Mm. But yeah, I don't code like 12 hours a day. Like, to be healthy, you should just do those breaks during coding, plus eat healthy. To stay fit, I go to the gym. Mm. Will you please explain binary search problems? Okay, uh, so I checked out D. Now C from the same round. I can also read problems. See electrification. Mm. There was a legend related to the name of the problem, but now it's just a formal statement. And points. We should minimize some function. minimize the cave closest point from your point. On the O of X axis, there are a bunch of points. You need to choose um, some other point to minimize the distance to the cave point from this one. I think we should here use two pointers or sliding window. Mm. When you choose some point, you're interested in what is interval of k closest points. Then I just go through the points in the input and consider each window of k consecutive points after the sorting. They are already sorted in the input. And when I know that interval, I should put the point, the one that is described here, the new point, at the very middle to minimize the distance to the cave point. Uh, 
I think that's the solution. Anyway, there is some editorial. Mm. Your videos are gold, thanks a lot for streams. You're welcome. Binary search problem. Let's write all the positive integer numbers from one after another from one after another from one without de any delimiters. Your task is to print the cave digit of this sequence. Uh, the binary search here is to um, take a number, like let's say 24, count how many digits are there before 24 and check if that's greater than or equal to k. This way we'll figure out at what number we hit in this problem. Actually, this is something I didn't really talk about in my lecture. There is a bunch of problems where we binary search the answer. Like find the median of some set. We can do that this way. Actually, I will make, I think, a video about it, because it's something cool. Mm, video ideas. Binary search, think the answer. For example, finding median in of one time, or oh, in one of one space. By the way, this is already recorded and it will go live in half an hour, just after this trip. You're welcome. Do I want to do anything else today? I want to read these two problems because I opened them. Uh, nope, nope, nope. You have an array, let's call some sub array sub permutation if it contains all integers from one to the size. Look here, this is a sub, sub permutation. You're asked to calculate the number of sub permutations. What team are you using on Gini? The default one. Mm. For every number, I would remember what when is the next occurrence of that number. Then interval is good if it doesn't have repeated values. I can use two pointers to iterate over such things. Like this is good in terms of not having repeated values. Then this is good. This is good as well. Then that. Then finally this. Mm. And the other thing is to have maximum being equal to the size. That's trickier. Are captions for your upcoming videos already done by already? I don't have any upcoming videos I'll, other than this binary search lecture for which ready make cap made captions. You intend to do some lecture about geometry problems later. Mm. I'm not sure what would be the difficulty of that lecture. I'm very good in computational geometry, but I guess the lecture should be about basics. And for basics, I'm not sure if I am if I'm able to explain everything well. Make some videos on Adobe interview questions. Don't think that if you want to practice for some company, then you should solve problems from their interviews. This is all just algorithms, programming. If you practice for Adobe interview, then 
you can just learn binary search, learn two pointers and so on. Then you will more likely pass the interview. If we do divide and conquer, what is in the tags, by the way, then we have for each thing on the right, I can know the maximum, and then I know where I reach. That's some problem. This was at at most k numbers in such a way that after the sorting, the sequence will be an arithmetic progression with difference d. Mm. Find its longest continuous subsegment such that it has a good KD sequence. For given D, we are interested in a part that has the same parity, division modulo D. Mm. Those numbers must be different. And their minimum, mi the difference between maximum and minimum is limited some in some way. That's it, I guess. I would is here use two pointers. Data structures difficulty isn't three thousand one hundred a very big difficulty. People didn't solve it during a contest. But it's a very old contest, so just people were weren't so good, I guess. Or I guess we cannot use two pointers. Mm. This problem to d my d equal to one. Just okay. Let's focus on d equal to one. Segment LR is good if only if that. Let's find such max R that there are no equal numbers. I can do that. I talked about it in the previous problem. Let's learn how we can maintain R I that. This is apparently a hard problem. At number and segment, find mini element of segment, find rightmost number doesn't exceed in k. Do you do anything created to math contests? Nope. But there is some maths in competitive programming. Let's open one note. Right, no thanks. That was the last uh, the last slide from how do I open? Ah. How do I open the thing on the left? Show navigation. Okay, here we go. Mm. This is not what I wanted. Why is it so small? Something changed in settings, apparently. Mm. Oh, this is what I wanted. Uh, these are slides from binary search lecture. Random problems. New page. Oh no, I didn't want that to be white. Stop disappearing. Copy, paste, delete. What size do I want here, by the way? Uh, what size did they use there? 31. Does it look different if I change a different font? Calibre? I guess I should... 
Consolas is fun for code. It isn't that good for other things. I shouldn't use here consolas. Mm. 46 random problems. Consolas, Calibri. What is the difference between Calibri and Calibri Light? Calibri looks better. Oh, I'm learning one note basically. Here I used Calibri. Mm. What is it? KD something. KD sequence. I will do I will solve this problem and then the stream will finish. Mm. I'm looking for my drawing tablet. Found it. have we have some sequence and k is the number of elements we can insert like two then this is fine the thing is that max for the number of elements from 2 to 7 this is max minus min plus 1 then we minus size minus size this should be smaller equal than k it's the number of missing elements and we know k K is given in the input. I can move minus one to the right side. I wonder whether my one note was like updated. It, it behaves a little differently than the last time. There was Windows update yesterday, so maybe. Let's see if something changed in settings. No, I don't think so. Now when I change anything here, it auto-hides. Hmm. Strange. Anyway, max minus min is that. Then... What can I do with that? I thought that we can use two pointers, but we can't. If we extend by one, anything can happen. Max and min ca might be much further away from each other, or size might increase. 
this one always increases by one max and min maybe will stay the same maybe they will be different we have that condition for all uh, that I can let's learn how we can maintain RIA of R this is max minus min minus size if we have such array then we have to find rightmost R such that A of R is more equal K we will need two stacks and segment relief operations add number to segment blah 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 mm. Let's iterate from right to left with L. How does this function look like for fixed L? Values represented set of segments so that maximum of the segment is the leftmost element. I think I got it. We have some sequence and for the current L we look at numbers to the right and we wonder for each interval starting at L what will be the maximum and when there is some value here like 7 then 4, 3 the maximum in those intervals will be 7, 7, 7 then there will be something greater here, maybe 9, then it will be 9, 9, and so on. It will be intervals of 7, then interval of 9s. If something new appears on the left, like, let's say also here it was 5, 5, if here 8 appears, then it removes this interval of 5s, this interval of 7s, and it puts 8s there. the same for minimum or is it the same for minimum yes this is symmetrical but for small numbers this here values were increasing 5 7 9 for interval minimum they will decrease when we have a change like remove this interval of 5s remove this interval of 7s insert this interval of 8s, we can do those operations on a segment. Now query find fight, uh, leftmost, rightmost, number less or equal k. First segment tree divides segment of request to log n segments with length of power of 2. Let's choose rightmost segment with minimum that. Do iterative dipping there to find element that we need. Yeah, I, I know how to do it. Uh, so for every L we get query on segment dot and login. That that was much harder than I thought. Can you give the link to of the problem? I'm talking about problems linked in this block. What are expander graphs? Can you make a video on it someday? I think you can google it to know it expander graphs is a sparse graph that has strong connectivity connectivity properties that's the answer uh, i don't research on anything particular like graphs people that are doing mm, that still that stay at the university they do more with some particular graphs for example or strings I don't know things like expander graphs. Mm. <coughs> this was F. Let's see what uh, what the editorial says. 
it's uh, there is editorial now with link added by me yet another partition problem no, number of sub sub permutations what happens here this one xor we assign to all numbers from 1 to n random 1 to 8 bit strings what At first, let's represent n permutations in the next form. We assign to all numbers from 1 to n random strings, so the ith number gets the string dot. Then the permutation can be hashed as uh, this, where XOR is. This representation is convenient because if we have two sets of numbers with a total number of elements equal to len, mm, we can easily check whether their union is a permutation of length n len. Let's iterate over position i such that this and calculate the number of permutations that contain this element. Let's iterate over the right boundary and suppose that maximum element of permutation len is one of the positions that... Okay, I got it, but it seems over complicated. To check if some interval is this is from a day ago. Interesting. To check if some interval is a good permutation, they compute hash of it, the sum of hashes of those values, and they also compute hash of array one, two, three, four, five. The the sum of hashes doesn't rely on the order. And the hash should be the same. It's an interesting solution. I didn't think about it. Uh, okay, we are two hours in, and I think that will be enough for today. I'm publishing now the video. GitHub codes will soon be added. Videos that it already has 34 views. What might mean that some people just <laughs> rewrote this link. What is possible? It's not private, it's unlisted. Mm. Edit video. Oh, I need to do one more thing about it. Editor. It's here? No. Mm, advanced. I wanted to do to add some card at the end. Promote? No. I don't remember how to do it. Mm, the card where it tells you to subscribe or to go watch another video. There is an option add card in editor, but I don't think that's it add an end card. I remember a different editor for that. How to add a sub box to video in YouTube. <laughs> That's a colorful thumbnail. I don't want a video. I want a text. But um, sanitary channel, click video manager. Where is it? Then click on branding, add a watermark feature. I don't see that maybe videos. Uh, 
I don't think that's it. Branding. Click channel, then click on branding. Add a watermark feature. So where is that branding? Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Live events, blah, 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 status and features, audio library. Dashboard. Mm, I added something like that to one of previous videos. I think it's, for example, here. How do you do it? Advanced. Cards. I think that's what I'm looking for. Cards in edit. Mm, let's go there. Edit. Cards. Add card. Channel. Oh, I cannot add subscribe to my channel. What? This is to promote another channel. But I can promote a video. Then I can promote find pick element. It's an older video. But it's about binary search. It's related. Video. Is it not in my uh, January twenty seventh? What am I doing? I'm here. I'm suggest suggesting something as a that small card. I thought it would be different. Is this card displayed for the whole video? I want that to only be displayed at the end. Is this your new YouTube channel? Uh, I have the first channel Arista for videos and this one Arista 2 for streams. Learn more about cards. Can 
this video, we'll show you can just need two. To get her to drip the hole, from here you can drip in a card. Be able to move the card to video. We'll see when they see your card, it's about to move it. Move it. Type the card or help center. Move the card around. Video you can drip. And then put you have by adding the video of the card. Put the card in the corner of the video. And then create. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder now for which video I added something like that. Maybe it was entrychability. Let's try and see what I did there. Hello, I reached up here with Prop the second channel. Okay, I added you the video I said subscribe to my second channel. But I added problem pairs like that. I wanted to do the same. Not just a small card, unless that changed in YouTube days ago. I wanted to achieve the same cards. But it's not in cards. It's something different. <laughs> How did I achieve that? In editor? Yes, I guess it was in editor. Mm, okay. Binary search lecture. Editor. I'm sure I used a different interface. Add end screen. Mm, one video, one subscribe. This will be true specific video. And uh, which one is it? Isolation. Find. P I want find pick element. This one. Mm, I can put it in a different position. Where? How? I don't want to hide. Thanks for watching. Okay, how does it look like now? I can extend that, I d cannot. Okay, let's try save it. I hope I hope it doesn't need to render. Video is being processed. Please check but later. Does it take time to just add a link? Okay, it's here. How does it look like?
you find in the description or in the case volume. And I hope you like that. Uh, uh, I'm Rita and see you next time. Bye bye. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Then the one last thing, edit. When often do you stream? How often do I stream? The the schedule is under my Twitch channel. Monday, Tuesday, Friday with times. And if I don't stream, there is a s there is a countdown here. Uh, I didn't want to open that. What did I want to do? From unlisted, we are changing to public. Binary search lecture. Let's think about the name. Uh, it's from lead code. lecture should there be some special name here binary search lecture this should be a series it should be what lecture number one no maybe lecture number one binary search binary search lecture examples from lead code with examples I think that's fine visibility public done safe The stream is finished. Thank you all for watching. Go now watch the binary search lecture. This is, I think, the most valuable content I ever made. I'm very proud of this video. If you like that one, then make sure to like it and to share with your friends, if you have some. Uh, I'm talking about those guys from chat that say I cannot share with anybody. Mm, I think I will also post about this in Code Forces, just because there is so much detail there, things that people don't think about. Mm, yep, that's it. Put Python and C++ in brackets. Like that. Uh, maybe, but I'm giving pseudocode. I'm not sure about that. C++ and Python. Binary search is one of the most important. I guess that's fine. I think I will rename it later for like lecture number one if I create a series of lectures. C++, Python are even in tags. Cool. Mm. Am I done? I think I'm done. Okay, bye bye everybody. Thank you for watching.